uh, one of the really big features for 2016 R2. Uh, here it supports the ASCE 7 05 and 710 uh, standard. The dialog, if you haven't seen it already, looks like this. There's two tabs up at the top there's a general wind load tab, and then there is a member wind load data. But in the first tab, uh, you have the ability, again, first of all, you can just set the units, and based on your units, um, we have categories for setting the de uh, design wind speed. You get to indicate, you know, again, which elevation axis, which is up, you know, the Y or the Z. There's a spo exposure categories according to the code and topographic factors that you get to set. And then there are, down at the bottom, there are areas, uh, the area gross, Maybe this is uh, this is the area that's applied, let's say, to the side of a small building. Uh, this is the overall area, maybe between three columns, and then the force itself is the area that's uh, going to be uh, added uh, that could be added to uh, the members that are going to take the resistance. Uh, you can indicate uh, the direction angle and directional factors according to code. And then on the next tab, as we go to look at that, you can see you can then apply those to specific members. Um, you see in the upper below uh, member definition, we've applied these to existing members 7 through 10. And you get to specify a variety of other factors. A couple that are really important that really differentiate are you get are the thickness, the ice thickness that you get to specify and the insulation thickness, which will cause more drag. So you can then apply these graphically onto members, select them, and you see down here at the bottom, uh, we've added those loads to those structures. And you can see it applied in GT menu, and this data is also written to the GTI file. 